with Oliver McCall, the former world heavyweight champion. Uh, Oliver, you just decided to fight young, hungry guy, undefeated uh, Krzysztof Zimno. And the uh, fight is going to happen on May 18 in Poland, televised uh, live in Poland on Polsat TV. Uh, tell me why. Well, well, first of all, I was, I was really excited to hear about uh, Salada knocking out Andrew Galata. Galata. And, uh, you know, I end up fighting Salada here, right here in my hometown uh, in Chicago, Illinois, at the United Center. My biggest fight yet in my career, so I thought it would only be nice for me to go to his country and fight an up-and-coming undefeated fighter myself and show once again that, hey, I can be champ, that I can beat the best, and I can definitely beat undefeated fighters. Spoke with Doc Nicholson, he said after, uh, you know, without even thinking about it, he said two things about Oliver McCall everybody has to know. First of all, the best chin in the business. And then the second thing, when you swing, when you hit, you hit with the bad intentions. Anything changed in the last years, or you're still the same, Oliver McCall? Well, I, hitting I, with the bad intentions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely still can punch. I can punch with both hands. Uh, still got a rock hard chin. The thing is, though, is my defense didn't get better. You know, as you get older, you learn, and, and you you really learn the sport and learn just more techniques and styles. And I'm able to incorporate that with my age and where I'm at now, and what I can do and what I can't do. And uh, me putting all that together and being focused, I can whoop anybody in the world. No question about it. The last fighter you fight, uh, Francisco uh, Pianeta, you lost on points, but we all know they, they told you about the fight eight days before the fight actually happened. And now the same guy is, is fighting Klitschko for world championships. What, what do you like to happen in this fight? And uh, you tell me the difference between how prepared you will be now comparison to what happened then. Obviously, eight days, it's not enough. Yes, well, with the, uh, uh, the, my last fight in Germany, uh, it was only on an eight-day notice. I came in weighing about 270 pounds, had a cut <laughs> on my hand. They gave me some gloves too small where I couldn't even wrap. I couldn't even wrap my hands. I had to actually put my hands in the gloves as is, basically, with just a little tape around a knuckle. That was it. Uh, also, I, like I said, I was weighing 280, 270-some pounds. Uh, and one thing I just want to let everyone know, because I, I don't think no one's seen the fight. <laughs> I don't believe they're going to let no one ever see that whole fight. Interesting. Oh, oh I, I'm saying that now. I was going to say it then. I said, no, nah, it's a So time. we should see it, definitely. You see the whole fight. Anybody who see the whole fight, they're going to say, you know what? Oliver, you won that fight. You had that boy knocked out. I am sure the gym of people, the guy who you're going to fight, in, in the tenth round, they're going to look for it yeah. for this fight. Yeah. Or maybe not. Yeah, in the 10th round, it was about 30 seconds left. Uh, in the 10th round, I let, I mean, I let a barrage go. I hit him with about an eight combination. Hit him. He was knocked out. I went to hit him again and finish him off. And the referee jumped in literally, <laughs> literally, and said, get off, get off him. And, and I was so upset. I'm like, man, what, what, what? He let him get this stuff together. And then I just walked around the ring and done this. The boy was so hurt that he didn't even fight. And he said, come fight. Because they thought it was all right. And I just done this. I said, you know what? I said, now you ain't going to let me knock him out. And, and the fight ended. I don't believe nobody's seen that whole fight yet. Yeah, we have to. I mean, now I want, I want, I want somebody who to see the whole fight coming in and say, you know what, Oliver? Uh, yeah, you, you tried, but then, yeah. The, but if you see the whole fight, you will see that uh, he was knocked out. But when we got to the press conference after the fight, when I heard his sob story, <laughs> I'm not, not, not a sob story. No, it I know was, what you're saying. It was a real yeah. touching story yeah. about him getting over cancer, him having True. cancer, him getting over cancer. I just threw it all out the window, and I didn't even say nothing concerning that situation. And by me not saying nothing, they kept it quiet. And like I say, nobody, I don't think, seen that whole fight yet <laughs> because of that. So, you know what, from what, you, what everything you, you said, and I, I have to tell you that I was surprised too that the uh, gymno people, the, the Polish guy you're going to fight, they decided, I mean, you will be probably the last guy I will going to fight over him, but it, it's going to happen on May 18. Did you see him fight? Did you see some YouTube stuff? I haven't even seen him fight yet. I haven't seen him fight yet. 
and, and you know what? I'm so excited. <laughs> See, I'm a professional. I've been in this game a long time, it, and I'm not being arrogant by me not no. rushing and seeing them fight. I'm going to take proper time and see them fight. I got plenty of time to see them fight. I got over two, over a month, over almost two months. Uh, but right now, I, I'm just wanting to enjoy the time. Uh, you know, I've been boxing for almost 30 years, uh, and I want to enjoy the process of training, getting myself in shape. I want to enjoy the time being with my son, seeing him take over from where I left off at and what, what I have accomplished and go further than where I was at in boxing. And, and, and that's really where I'm at. Me and my son fought on two cards together. We, it's going to happen for a third this time. This the third time we fight on a card together. Uh, each time we fought on a card together, we, we both uh, won, won our fights and everything. We enjoyed the training camp. We enjoyed the pushing one another and things like that. So I'm really in, wanting to enjoy this with my son because I know a day going to come when it's going to be over. It ain't too many fighters that can actually fight on the same card with their son. You know, Joe Frazier and his son, Buddy McGirt and his son. We, we got fighters, uh, Julio Souza Chavez and his son, but they never actually was able to fight True. with their son on the same card. And I, I've been blessed to do that with my son twice. And it's been a uh, I mean, an awesome experience. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, you know, we both coming off a loss, but that's going to make us and put the real drilling in us even more to, to make a statement on our comeback. You know, the other two fights, we come off wins. Now we got to come back and show what we really got. You know, we, we get knocked down, we get back up, we take care of business. So that's what I'm looking forward to, and I'm just so excited. And I'll watch, I'll watch that guy on YouTube <laughs> next week, next couple of weeks from now. Perfect. Thank you very much with Oliver McCall, who on May 18 is going to fight... Uh, Krzysztof Zimner, Zimner, the one of the best Polish And Indians. I hope uh, uh, Soleta be at the fight. I've seen him uh, since the last we, time we, I fought We will in invite Florida. Przemek Soleta. Soleta, yeah, I've seen him in Florida before he fought uh, Galata, and he's a cool guy. I enjoy his company. We laughed and talked and had a good time, so I'm looking forward to just talking with him and shooting the shucks with him. Thank you very much yes. again, Oliver McCall. Thank you.